friends, it's Candice Gillespie from CandiceScanvases.com, um, which is a website, that's my website, it's under construction, but also you can check out my Stampin' Up! store at CandiceScanvases.StampinUp.net. So I have a super fun project to make today. I think I'm going to title Friday's... Um, fun Fridays. So we're going to make something super fun. So right here I just have a makeshift piece of silicone mat. It was actually a huge one. I just sectioned it off. And we're going to have a cork. I just got this at Michael's. Let's see where's in these little packs right here. And then Michael's is our local craft store here. And then <clears throat> we have a stamp. This is a flower stamp from the Petite Petals right here and I chose this one and then <clears throat> I have an old set of Peg Alphabet stamps that my um, it's probably 30 years old my parents-in-law gave these to me oops that's Samuel my son okay <clears throat> so first things first this is not a project that you want to do if you're not good with a knife or if you're a child. So don't do this at home because you do need a kitchen knife. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this cork into four equal sized pieces. And it's fine that it's larger here and smaller here. We're just going to go for it. So let's see. Off of my silicone mat. And here we are starting to cut. So I sped it up so you didn't have to watch me struggle with this. So this is just a little quick voiceover. And be careful for those fingers. And then we are going to stamp on our project love. the word love. Word. I'm going to stamp that with Saison Jet Black ink. So let's see. We're going to start with this side with the L. And insert another voiceover so you don't have to watch me do this stuff in slow motion. It's repetitive. And we're just continuing on inking and stamping with the black stays on ink on all of our little pieces here. So I guess any four-letter word would work, and I'm hesitant to say that because sometimes four-letter words aren't very friendly. So I'm just going to pretend like everybody in the world who sees this is going to do a friendly, sweet word. <laughs> so here is L-O-V-E. Okay, next is... Next, we are going to take our flower stamp right here. And I have Melon Mambo, Old Olive, Pacific Point, and Tangerine Tango. And these are all from the Brights collection. <coughs> and we're gonna take that and we're gonna stamp it. Let's see what, I better close up my ink. Color, color combo I want. I think I'm going to do blue, pink, green, and orange. So Pacific Point, we're going to take our stamp and we are going to just get it nice and inky because we're going to transfer from the stamp to the cork piece that we have now. <laughs> and this fast forward is we're just continuing stamping the colors here on each one. You have an option if you want them lighter you can stamp off and then stamp on to your project piece or just full strength because in the end the, when you apply the crystal effects it'll lighten it up anyway. Okay, set those aside, and what we're going to do is I have these teeny tiny little, 
what are they? They screws, hook screws. I'm not sure what they're called, but I have four of them because we have four what are going to be pendants. And then what you're going to do is you are going to take these and drill them into the top of your cork. So turning, giving it some pressure as you turn and it will, you'll start to feel it catch and then you can snug it up in there. So snug it up quite a bit. There we go. We're going to do our O. And spinning on the pieces, those little screws into each of the tops on um, each of these. Now I got these at the hardware store, so you can go to any one of your local hardware store and just look for the smallest size of this type. There we go. L-O-V-E. Okay, next, <clears throat> this is where our um, uh, silicone mat comes in handy because baby's hands away. You don't want them touching it. We're going to use crystal effects. I love, love, love this stuff. Um, this no. is what, <laughs> You love it too. And this is what Stampin' Up! carries. Another, um, and I, I happen to love this one. So let's see. I'm just going to peel this off and we are going to really coat this it looks like I have a little clog in here and I put a little pin at the tip of mine Okay, you'll see it's on there. I'm gonna smudge it out to the ends. And right now it's a little bit cloudy looking, but that is fine because it dries clear. And I love it. And so Stampin' Up's Crystal Effects is very similar to Glossy Accents and, pro and products like that that's out there. Um, that being a Stampin' Up! representative, I'm very, you know, biased on this product. I absolutely love it. And then what we're going to do is we are going to place these. So the middle two are pointing up and the end two are slightly pointing in because you're, if you think about your chain going on there, and then I am going to just stick these together like this by filling in this gap right here with crystal effects. Oops. And when that dries, it will dry um, them together. It will have attached them. I love this stuff because it does that, but it doesn't, it's not a rock hard and I, you can see my little pin I attached to my lid. I try to just keep that in there. Okay. <clears throat> when it dries, it will look like this. Isn't that so fun? Only it, it will already have these eyelets in them. Okay, so that's going to dry. I have a chain here. I just got these also from Michael. And... Um, I just used any old chain. This one is 18 inches long and it looks so fun. So enjoy and I will show you pictures after this specific one dries. Okay, talk to you later and um, as my officially second YouTube video, um, like, subscribe for future videos and um, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.